Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. And nothing is impossible with God. You've heard about this one for sure. As far as I know, there has never been anything like this before or after. The science explains to us that a living human being cannot walk on the water. So do you believe that Jesus really walked on water? Was it shallow waters? Or was it really a miracle? This is one of the few miracles that John wrote of that is found in any other Gospels. The writer of the book of John told us something interesting about Jesus. Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. John 21 and verse 25. This is one of the most miraculous, or should I say, most dramatic miracles that Jesus did. It is so miraculous that it challenged me to go find it elsewhere. And it is recorded in Matthew 14, Mark 6, and here in John 6. So, what really happened? All three accounts tell us that earlier in the afternoon, Jesus had fed 5,000 men besides women and children. And after this spontaneous bread and fish meal, Jesus dismissed the crowd and told the disciples to take a boat and sail over to the other side of the lake. Matthew and Mark tell us that he went up to the mountain to pray. John said something different. A clue of what might have been coming next, if you please. John said, by now it was dark and Jesus had not yet joined them. How was he planning on joining them? Was it while they are still sailing across this great lake or was he going to fly past them? Just questions, if you don't mind. Then it happened. They saw for themselves. Jesus came towards them walking on the water. Mind you, there was a storm at sea that night and the boat was a great distance from land. It is in the midst of this storm that there was this unusual sight of a man walking towards or attempting to walk past them. Whatever it is, you will agree that someone was walking not in the water but on top of the water. He was not on a life-saving mission but this one is indeed one for the records. This was a strange miracle, but can we just recall what constitutes a miracle? A miracle is an extraordinary event that is attributed to God. It is something that cannot be explained from a human perspective. A miracle is something that is impossible, and nothing is impossible with God, and so you can conclude that God is a miracle worker. In this case, it was Jesus walking on the water, something that humans cannot do and will never be able to do, but the power that Jesus had made him walk on water and not sink. If you were there, what would have been your reaction? Shock? Fright? Superstition? Well, two of the three accounts tell us that they thought it was a ghost. Of course, that makes sense because some of these guys like Peter, Andrew, John and James were fishermen and they fished on this very same lake. And they certainly had never seen a human walking on the water and certainly not in the nighttime. The other guys probably felt that these fishermen must be correct. But it was no ghost, my friend, because Jesus called out to them, take courage. It is I, don't be afraid. What then? The Mark and John accounts tell us that Jesus joined them in the boat. Now, I know we are studying from John, the miracles that John wrote about, but allow me to borrow a piece of Matthew's story, which says, Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got out of the boat, walked on the water and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Matthew fourteen twenty-eight to 32. Remember, 
we are talking about a miracle, something that is impossible for humans to do, but God does impossible things. So on this occasion, Peter asked Jesus to confirm that it is really him by letting him, Peter, a human being, walk on the water towards Jesus. Jesus said, come. Peter stepped out and walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and he began to sing, crying out, Lord, save me. Let me pause there. Can humans do miracles? Can a child of God do a miracle? Peter did. Peter was bold enough to ask Jesus to make him walk on water. Peter's experience in this story teaches us something. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 and verse 13. I believe that when we believe that Jesus can use us, that Jesus' power can flow in us, we can do miracles. But notice as soon as Peter started to assess the natural, the winds, he became afraid and he began to sink. When we demonstrate faith and God brings us into the realm of the supernatural, we must never forget that it is not me and my human power, but remember it is Christ's power in me, enabling me to do the miraculous. This, therefore, is the same Peter after the day of Pentecost when they were baptized in the Holy Spirit. In Acts 3, Peter healed the lame man by saying, Silver or gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. The lame man walked. This is the same Peter who we read of in Acts 5, that there was so much power in him that when he walked past sick people by the roadside, when his shadow passed over them, they were healed. This is the same Peter in Acts 9 who said to a paralyzed man confined to bed, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and roll up your mat. And later he was called to the home of a woman who had died. He emptied the room, shut the door and prayed. Then he said to the dead woman, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes and when she saw Peter, she sat up. I know I went off on a tangent, but this miracle of Jesus walking on the water, it opens up our mind to God using us to do miracles. If we have faith like Peter, if we focus on Jesus and not on the natural things around us that say it cannot be done, then God can use us to do great things. Let us pray. Dear God, Thank you for showing us that you are able to do the impossible. Help me, Lord, to have faith like Peter, who asked you and was able to walk on water. Help me, Lord, to trust you to work through me to do great things that will bring you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. And the parting thought, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. My friend, if you haven't yet done so, hit the like button and then hit the subscribed button and then share this story with someone who you believe will love to hear it. Thank you.